Okay, so we're going to create a box now, and that box is going to define uh, the shape that the tree is trimmed to. And uh, just before I do that, I just want to check um, on the leaf. I need to check that the, um, the pivot is in the right place. So if we zoom in on it, there we go. I want it to be uh, at the bottom of the leaf, really. There we go. And now we're going to create a, a box. Just move that into position. And uh, if we right click on the box and go to its uh, object properties, we can uh, tell it to be see through. And whilst we're here, we, we can tick. Uh, untick renderable, we don't want this to render at all. Um, in case we leave it in, we know it, it won't get in the way of the, uh, the render now. Um, uh, it's a bit easier to see what you're adjusting when it's see through as well. So uh, we can change all this later, but we can get it looking. So we want to use this box to A, trim this object, everything outside of the box, and then B, to describe where we want to scatter leaves. Um, so the first thing we'll do is we'll um, take care of uh, trimming the trunk and the, the, tr and the branches. Uh, so we'll go to the uh, editable mesh level, uh, and I want to select uh, parts of the tree which I definitely want to keep. So I'm going to go to um, element and I, I want to actually um, I want to keep all of the tree the, uh, the trunk and I want to keep the bottom of uh, the branches at the, down here. Um, so I'm just in the front viewport. I'm just going to choose those guys. top viewport yeah just check that okay so I don't want those I don't want those to be trimmed uh, I deselected the trunk there we go so I want to keep those at all costs and uh, make sure the rest of the tree uh, it will be trimmed if it needs to be uh, so on top of the editable, me editable mesh we're going to add a volume select and we're going to choose um, I think uh, faces uh, I think I need to come out of the polygon level there, go back to volume select, there we go. Um, and I want to use uh, select by volume mesh object. And I have to choose the box. Uh, so you can see now it's chosen, uh, it's, it's um, selected all the faces inside the box. Um, but I want it uh, to add that to the selection that we had in edit editable mesh. So I click add. And the other thing I want to do is invert that. So it's just choosing the tips of the branches outside of the box. And uh, those are the parts that we don't want. We're going to get rid of those. And we're going to try and keep this procedural. So we'll put in a uh, delete mesh. There we go. And that means when we change uh, the box's dimensions, it will also it will trim uh, the rest of the tree. Uh, and now we're going to set up a particle flow to scatter this leaf and we're going to use the box uh, to do that. Um, I'm just going to save. Again, I'm happy to save over there. Uh, right, and create a particle flow.